Hi, I am back, and this time I'm back during the day. So I was trying to not do a voiceover on this video. I attempted a talking video, but it didn't work out because um, my cats were making a lot of noise. So anyways, I have my B6 Stalogy in a Sojourner USA Americana cover, and I'm just doing a quick flip here. I was trying to look up when I started this book, and I concluded that it was September 2017. And I think it's going to join us during some of our journaling sessions for larger ephemera pieces. Um, remember that stack I have next to me on my desk? We are trying to get uh, all that paper goodies on uh, notebooks before the... January 2020, before the beginning of the new year. I did start using the back of the notebook because it was becoming difficult to write in the front due to the chunk I've added. I also have an A5 from Muji. Um, I like the different color of this paper because it's more white versus the MD that's more of a cream, co cream color pages. So I really I was showing you guys that I really like that page. Um, my journaling started with me writing down some thoughts about wondering how others store their markers, pens, and pencils. Do you guys keep them in bags and pencil pouches, or do you keep them um, on like those containers on your desk, uh, standing up, or like I know a lot of people use those Muji clear uh, drawers and they keep them nice and flat, which I think it's the best option for. Our markers um, but yeah that's what I was writing about um, after that I moved on to write about my morning just um, my feelings and how I was um, experiencing the morning with our cats so yeah like I said my cats were just making a lot of noise during this video that's why I had to do a voiceover right now I am recording this voiceover at work during my break so more writing. I did use that dater because I noticed that a lot of my pages don't have dates or if they do have the dates, I tend to not write the year. Uh, so then I kind of have to see like September, October, January. Oh, okay, this was 2018, this must be 2017. <laughs> so I need to get better at that for sure. And now I'm just wrapping up the page. I hope you guys don't mind that I include the writing portions of my journaling. But I think it's fun seeing someone else journal. And I included this clip because I was struggling. And I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to use this picture from Yosemite that I took during our family trip back in July of 2019. And also, I had this fortune from a cookie that my boss got for the team. So I felt like I needed a little background color. It would be nice. But then I added the color to the wrong page. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it didn't fit the way I wanted the fortune to fit in the picture. Um, so I started looking, and luckily, I had this piece of ephemera from a collage sheet image that Courtney Diaz or Little Raven Inc. Uh, had given to us in her patron. Uh, you guys can find her patron page. Uh, she's Little, Little Raven Inc. on all of her social medias. And here I am. I think it goes very, very well with the image, which has pinks and purple and green. And that's uh, the picture that I took in Yosemite, which is just of some grass and some cute little wildflowers. I had uh, labeled a picture in the back. I have these grand dreams that one day someone will find my journal and the glue will be gone, but they'll be able to look at the back and see that I wrote where it was taken in the date. So now my page is kind of ready. It came out pretty, pretty good in my opinion <laughs> and very quickly together once I found that piece um, from Gourney. And then this happens. 
Oh, I cut my beautiful red bookmark and I quickly finished putting together the washi on the page because I needed a break. Oh yeah, I cut it completely off because, I mean, what's the point? It was short now. And here I am, just kind of like, come on, Maria, come on, put down the washi, move on, and turn off the camera. Because I was really frustrated with myself at that point. And I'm about to do it again. Look. Ah, there you go. I got smart this time around. Break. I'm back. So I'm um, back to dating. And here I was talking about how I really like this dater. I wanted to use the actual date when I took the picture versus the date when I'm journaling about. And of course, as a lefty, I got ink all over my hand. And I had to clean that up or try to clean that up. So here I am back adding that little background color I thought the picture needed. So here it is, my lefty problems. I got ink on my hand and then I just, I try to get some of the black ink out of the page, but it's impossible. And here I am, trying to clean it off. And now we're back to writing about our road trip. I wanted to get some of the memories down from our trip. Uh, recently, we've been traveling a lot more with family. This was our second time in Yosemite, but the first time it was just me in the hubs and this time around we took family with us. So it was a different experience, kind of seeing how others see the park for the first time and see those amazing views. If you've never been to Yosemite National Park, I totally, totally recommend you do. It is an amazing park. We've done a couple of hikes. Uh, we're not, you know, that uh, into hiking or camping, but we have um, done the Bridal Veil Falls, the Yosemite Valley, and Yosemite Falls, of course, the lower and the higher ones. It's just a fun time there. And we always stay at the Yosemite Lodge. Um, I don't really like camping. I like to have my shower at the end of my hike and a nice, comfortable bed. Who's with me? Please leave a comment below if you do the glam camping or if you literally just book a hotel. I know a lot of people go camping, especially people with family, like with kids. It's a fun time. So now I, I found this um, favorite, what is it called? The Pit Artist Pen. And I started journaling on that collage sheet since it was a little bit thicker and it's a printable. I knew the fountain pen nib I was using, which was the Pereira Pilot, was way too uh, thin for it. And the color, too, I thought black would stand out more on the paper. I actually don't have my notebook around me or with me, so I can't really even reference what I'm writing here. But I, I'm pretty sure I did a little title of um, Yosemite and that it was a road trip for 2019. And well, now that I'm going to finish writing, on this paper this is going to be the end of my journaling session for this video i hope you enjoy my second video back to youtube thank you so much for the likes and the comments um, i know that some of you were surprised and probably forgot you were even subscribed to my channel <laughs>
If you unsubscribe because I had not posted, please resubscribe. I am back. I am back on full force. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.